everyone. Welcome to another edition of GSC Diginet. I'm Jim Caval. We have so much to talk about here in 2012 as league play has got underway on the court for both the men and women's hoops action in the Gulf South Conference. And as we get closer to the end of January and we get into February, we're starting to see what teams are the teams to beat in both the men's and women's sides of Gulf South Conference basketball. Of course, this year's tournament taking place in Niceville, Florida. We'll have more information on the tournament, ticket information, schedule of events, all that moving forward on GSE Diginet. But today, let's review the week that was in the Gulf South Conference and preview the week that will be for both men and women's basketball in the GSC. The first big battle of the 2011-12 conference season left the GSC with just one undefeated team in women's hoops. After posting a big come from behind win, UAH will face another daunting task this week. as They trailed by as many as 13 points in the second half at home against Valdosta State, but then persevered to win 73-69. Meanwhile, there's a lot going on in the rest of GSC women's hoops. The loss not only snapped a nine-game win streak for VSU, it started a two-game slide after falling to North Alabama, which evened its conference record at 2-2. Two and two. Both teams now tied with West Georgia, which took control late 52-47 in a win over Christian Brothers to end a two-game skid. Head of the 2-2 two two trio in the standings is Delta State, which did not allow either West Georgia or West Alabama to get 50 points in running its conference mark now to 3-1. The Lady Statesmen, who lead the GSE in scoring, Defense and offense and defensive field goal percentage will take aim at first place in the GSC when they travel to UAH this week. Veronica Walker had double doubles in both games and leads the league with seven this season. West Florida, which has lost three straight, hopes to get back on track with contests this week at West Georgia and West Alabama as the Argos are tied with CBU and UWA at 1-3. On the men's side, CBU remained perfect in GSE action last week by upping its league mark to 4-0 behind home wins over West Alabama and then number 25, West Georgia. Guard Scott Dennis made Bucks history in the UWG win, notching the school's first ever triple-double with 17 points, 12 boards, and 12 dives. Christian Brothers has won nine consecutive games dating back to December 6th. Alabama Huntsville took over sole possession of second place at 3-1 thanks to home triumphs over Valdosta State and West Florida. Yet another Charger surpassed a career milestone this week as Zane Campbell became the program's 22nd player to score 1,000 points as he netted 28 against UWF on Saturday. He joins teammates Jamie Smith and Josh Majette with over 1,000 career points. Four teams entered this week's schedule tied for third place with two and two records as West Georgia, West Florida, North Alabama, and West Alabama each went one and one last week. Valdosta State opened up the league slate with a victory on January 5th, but since then, they've dropped three in a row and Delta State continues its struggles here in 2012, falling three times last week and pushing its losing streak to nine games. So that does it for this edition of GSE Diginet, but we'll be back each and every week to keep you up to date on what's going on in both men's and women's hoops. And of course, for up to the minute action, just go to the GSE website at gscsports.org. You'll get stats, standings, news, and more. And we'll see you next week for another edition of GSE Digital. Until then, I'm Jim Cavell.